Today is January 11th, and today's quote is entitled, Chanting Produces More Chanting. How do I know if I have chanted my rounds attentively? I know because I'm getting a nice taste. So when I finish my rounds, I want to keep chanting. If I am relieved to put my bead bag down after my last round, then it's usually an indication that I have not chanted well. I'm sure we all have this experience that sometimes when we finish our 16 rounds, we're very happy and we're very excited to do what? To continue chanting? No, to stop chanting. To put our bead bag, bead bag down and say, Phew, glad it's over, got more important things to do. And sometimes when we finish our 16 rounds, if we have to stop because we have service or we have to go to school or work, if the rounds were good, we often lament, oh, I wish I could chant some more rounds. I wish I had more time. And sometimes when we finish our rounds, and we do have more time, we chant more rounds because we're relishing the taste. Sometimes devotees ask, how do I know if I'm advancing in Krishna consciousness? And you know by your taste, and you know by your detachment, because detachment is a consequence of taste. So how do we know if we're chanting good rounds? We know by our taste. It's enjoyable. It's sweet. We like doing it. It's not a chore. It's not boring. It's not a struggle. Now, sometimes it will be a struggle, and we don't give up. And sometimes Krishna wants to see a struggle, and sometimes the taste for the holy name is just beyond the struggle. And sometimes we think, why should I struggle? There's no taste. And we, we sort of give up. But we should think Krishna's looking, he's watching, he wants to see. Well, now that you're struggling, now that you don't have a taste, what are you going to do? Are you going to give up? Are you going to surrender to maya? So sometimes Krishna is waiting to give the taste, but the taste exists just beyond, a little bit beyond the struggle platform, the platform where you're willing to continue to chant sincerely, enthusiastically, with dedication, even though you're not experiencing any taste. And if you do that, it's guaranteed you will get a taste. Krishna will give it to you. But sometimes he doesn't give it easily. In any case, this is how we understand the quality of our chanting. If we're experiencing some happiness, some satisfaction, some pleasure, some desire to continue chanting even after we finish our rounds, we could know. Well, that's one way to know that those were good rounds. So that was a good japa session. And we should be a little concerned if when we finish our rounds we're somewhat relieved that now I don't have to chant any more rounds till tomorrow. I'm very happy not to have to chant anymore. It's not really a good sign. It's not a position we want to be in. So chanting produces more chanting. What does this mean? If we chant good rounds, it will tend to produce more good rounds. And if we chant bad rounds, it will tend to produce more bad rounds. That's the that's the red flag to be aware of. If we're not chanting well, it tends to reproduce itself because habits, that's the way habits work. And if we're chanting well, then we're developing a good habit, so habits work uh, to help us, to uplift us. They're positive. So chanting produces more chanting. Good chanting will tend to produce more good chanting. Bad chanting will tend to produce more bad chanting.